Okay, so in this question we're explicitly told to complete the square. So to complete the square we're mainly focusing on this bit first. So x squared plus 30, to complete the square you put it into brackets, x plus, and then you halve the coefficient of the x, so it's going to be 15 squared. Now if we do that, and we do x plus 15 squared, which is x plus 15 brackets x plus 15, Okay, you get uh, x squared and then plus 15 plus 15x, so it's plus 30x, which is great because that's what it says in the question. But then you have a plus 225, so we've got to deal with that 225. So the way of dealing with it is minus 225. So all of this is the same as the purple bit in the question. And then we've got plus 4. Okay, that's fine. Okay, next thing I need to do is I need to... Put the minus 225 and the plus 4 together. So I'm going to do uh, the same first bit, so x plus 15 squared, but then it's minus 221 now equals 0. Next I'm going to put my lines in because we are rearranging to solve. So the first thing I'm going to do is plus 221 both sides, which is great. So we've got x plus 15 squared equals 221. Next we want to square root both sides so it's, oh I don't need the brackets anymore because I've got rid of that squared so it's just x plus 15 equals square root 221. Now be careful here when you square root something you get plus and a minus. Now you don't often have to put these in but I think it's useful for this question. Next thing we go minus 15 both sides and so we end up with x equals, and because that plus or minus is there, it's sometimes useful to put the number first, so minus 15, and then plus or minus root 221. So we've got minus 15 plus or minus root 221. And if you put that minus 15 afterwards, it might look like it's inside the square root, so it's sensible to put it first.